Hello everyone. In my opinion, there are two factors to judge an accounting program. The first factor is who recruits on campus and what type of internship do they offer to their students. And those two are interrelated. If CPA firm recruits from campus, it means they offer internship, generally speaking. The second factor is the pass rate at that exam. Also, this factor is related to the first one because CPA firms, they know the pass rate at your school. How do, they, how do they know this? When they recruit students, they know if those students pass the exam or not. However, as a student, you may not know this data. You may not know the pass rate at your exam. So what I'm gonna be doing on my website is releasing some data about the pass rate at your school. And this way you can judge yourself. Now bear in mind, this is one point in time. That's one factor in determining your success. But if, you're, if the pass rate at your school is 30%, that's not good. If the pass rate is 50% or above, that's way better. Especially if you have Farhat lectures, that's gonna help your success rate as well. Uh, but that's beside the point. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a look at this data and just show you how to use it and share it with you. This way you could make an informed decision about your CPA accounting program. Let's take a look at it. First thing you do is go to farhatlectures.com and click on CPA University Data. It's gonna take you to this site. On this site, you're gonna see basically a menu of three options, CPA performance data by university, CPA performance by section, ranking of top 20 countries. So let's take a look at the CPA data by, by university. So here what I have is you can filter by state. So if you're looking, you know, you want to see California, which is it has a lot. So it only shows you California or you can filter by year. The only year I have now is 2018 or you could filter by, you could type your university name and I'm very, I'll, I'm, I'm, in this, I'm interested in Westchester University. Let's, uh, well, it, I'm selected California. I have to take it out. It's not in California. So Westchester University in Pennsylvania in 2018, 443 section were given. The overall pass rate is 55.3, which is pretty good. The average score is 73.1. That's, that's good as well. The score doesn't really mean anything. And the average age is 25.3. Also, for example, I like to know Bloomsburg University. House of Bloomsburg University, 153 section were taking. The overall pass was 53.6. That's also good. The average score and the average age. So you could look up your university by typing its name or just having, just browsing through the data by state. Also, you could look up CPA performance by section. So if I want to know how many students pass FAR or audit, um, for a particular school, you can do the same thing here. How many sections, for example, Alabama State University, Let's let's just look at let's look at Westchester as an example. Westchester University uh, auditing 104 sections. Uh, 50 uh, the pass rate is 58.7. BEC 85 section 58.8. Far 128 the pass rate is 46.9, which is just with a national average. It's lower than the others. NRAG is 58.7. We really have a good. Westchester has a good taxation program. So the pass rate is high as well, as well as BEC and audit. So this is what you can do. Also for, um, for example, if you want to know, let's go back to CPA performance data, and you want to know who has the highest average in the country, average pass rate in 2018. You could just click on this and it's gonna give you the highest pass rate, Iowa, <laughs> uh, Morgan Morgan Side College only 19 sections though 19 um, sections has the highest has the highest pass rate and the highest average then comes uh, a university in North Carolina Davidson College 34 section the pass rate is 94% just it just it's browsing just if you want to browse you could either look up the lowest or in your state so it's it just gives you a little bit of data i i i, I hope you find it interesting i do find it very interesting by the way you could also look at ranking of top 20 countries. Uh, for example, the most candidate were from Japan, 1,852. Uh, the least candidate was from Singapore, 35 candidate. And this is, you can rank by average score. For example, this is the lowest, this is the highest. The highest average score was from Lebanon and the highest pass rate. Let's look at the highest pass rate. 
also Lebanon, 68 point, uh, 69.8, and the highest average score, 75. That's very interesting, and that's good. Actually, I'm originally from there, so that could have to do something with it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I hope you find this data very interesting. I will try to add more years, maybe prior years, so this way you'll start to have a trend. And when 2019, 2020, I will try to also add this data. Use it to your own advantage. Uh, use it to learn more about the CPA exam. As always, I would like to invite you, if you have any inquiries, if you have any questions about the exam, please reach out to me. That's what I do. I help people pass the CPA exam. Uh, good luck, study hard, and check out farhatlectures.com.